Welcome, San Diego. Welcome to the Dr. Hutch Show. I'm Dr. J.L. Hutchison, and we're talking about real estate investing. We're still going back to that topic we've been talking about for the past three weeks. Um, just excited. Got a lot of people that came by their office. A lot of people called. That was great. Today, I'm going to talk to you about why real estate investing is so important. Even if you don't even have a dollar, please find somebody else who has a dollar to use their dollar to buy your real estate. I'll tell you how important that is. And those that have real estate, I'll tell you why it's so important for you to continue to build no matter what your financial situation is. So we go talk about that. Now, I have uh, my guy here, William Fertiz. You want to say hello to San Diego? How are you doing, San Diego? Oh, and we have Samantha Drumming. You want to say hello to San Diego? Hey, San Diego. And we have uh, Brandon. You want to say hello to San Diego? Hello, San Diego. All right, all right. We, we squeezed him in on the mic over there. And, uh, we got our engineer, Tommy, here. We're just having a great time. I've been having a great time. Had a great, um, great weekend. Mother's Day. Great, great thing as far as uh, Mother's Day. Mothers are most definitely important. Yeah, most people say, well, father is a dime a dozen. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, nobody's like mom, you know. You know I still call, um, after 37 years, I still call my mother mommy. So uh, when I don't say, hello, mommy, she'd be like, well, what's wrong? <laughs> so, uh, and as far as this weekend, I went out and I bought a couple of cars. I had a great, great opportunity to uh, go over to... Uh, friend of mine who has a car lot uh, named Tony Crasco over there off of uh over here off of uh, I keep on forgetting where to step over Campo Road. Road. Campo Road, I'm sorry, I one of those brain free. <laughs> and uh we'd like to invite anybody that want that's looking for a car and uh as far as they're real easy on the credit. So if you got a credit problem trying to get that kid in the car, you know, as a young kid and they do financing right there so they'll take care of you and uh, just tell them Dr. Hutch sent you over there when you tell them that Dr. Hutch sent you over there believe me you're going to get first class service you'll feel like a king and a queen and uh, your family will most definitely be treated as royalty Tony Crasco is a great guy and as uh, far as uh, their number over there if anybody want to give them a call you can go over to that 619 Four six nine zero zero one nine. That's uh, once again area code six one nine four six nine zero zero one nine. That's Tony Crasco. I mean, you got like a, you got a couple pennies in your pocket. You rub together. You say, "Well, I need it. What about my down payment?" You know, uh, he's he's always willing to work something out. If you don't have the full down payment, you say, "Look, you know, you can come over here. You got a thousand dollars. Maybe we can work something out." You uh, and it's backed up with my name. So if you go over there and uh, and you ain't got enough money, it's gonna come back on me. But that's okay because I'm there to help support. So. Uh, we want to uh, make sure they got great cars. You know, I just got me what, a BMW, BMW 328. Uh, uh, 328i 99, and just got a uh, Cadillac over there, Cadillac Seville uh, SLS uh, 1999 over there, clean as a whistle. Mm -hmm. You know the great part, folks. We can look good. You know, I, you know, we we always want to look good, so they got the rims on the cars. And anyway, <laughs> got to go out and get the rims. They got the chrome rims. And, and a nice little tire, so you you pull up on that uh, on Sunday uh, morning to church, you know, and uh, believe me, people will see how blessed you are, you know, as the sun will hit those rings, <laughs> <laughs> and they'll see the the, uh, the light of the Lord. <laughs> yeah, so we uh, we've been having a, a, a time at the office doing a lot of stuff. It's a lot of uh, real estate is going crazy. Back to what we were talking about. Um, and I was saying last week, the Fortune magazine, they came out, talked about uh, uh, real estate investing survival guide. It is, it is uh, some information. If you don't know anything about real estate or those people out there that are, are pretty much novice at it, you can actually go ahead and uh, grab this uh, magazine uh, and uh, get really educated on, on the real estate market across the country. And that's a great thing. And I'm excited about people going out and getting real estate. And some people actually that came to the office, um, you know, look, folks, coming to the office to talk about real estate, you don't think just because 
uh, what we do, we can't help you. We can. If you don't have that first home or whatever, real estate is so important. There's always a way. There's always a, an opportunity. We got our uh, open house that's going to be on. What day is that going to be on, William? That day is uh, May 30th. And we're going to be talking about uh, pretty much about real estate mm -hmm. and uh, how you can get involved property. I'll be revealing my uh, little investor package, and that's good. So for 2500 bucks, you went in the real estate business. I mean, you're a big player. You got a little baby. So that's uh, that's moving. That's most definitely uh, uh, that's that's one. All right. Um, so I'm excited about that. And one thing that I want you to understand is that just being in real estate, real estate alone, is a great opportunity. To accumulate the wealth, mm -hmm. to make your family feel better. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to uh, my staff today, a couple of my staff and members, talking about being focused. It's very important that you need to be focused. Focused. So that's what you need to stay focused on whatever the things that you need to do as far as about being committed. And when you're committed and focused on getting better with your life, your personal thing, and you can look at real estate as another thing that gives you a great opportunity. Because I was studying about real estate in the Bible, looking at the scripture. I was like, why was it so important that God told the Israelites to go get the land? And we, we was talking about that right. on the way here, right? right? And I said, what is the question? Why? Why is it so important that God was telling them to go get some real estate? Mm -hmm. Why? And what what was the, you came up with all kinds of answers, right? Right, was yeah. tons of answers. Tons, tons of answers. Why? But it wasn't to the point. The reason that God told them to go get real estate, you do not get established yet until you get real estate. Think about it. You can live your life and never have real estate, and you would never find yourself completely established because that's God's ordained thing. What did he do to Adam? He put him in the garden. Mm -hmm. He gave him real estate. And what did he do? He became fruitful, built, he had a job, everything. The true establishment that God can really use you and continue to bless you even more is the real estate. Because after then, the Israelites did what? They had their own home, they were established, and they started to do what? They started to grow. They started to develop. That's why a lot of people say, well, let's, uh, let's get together and have true community. And when you see people come from different parts of the world to this country, they're really not established until they get what? Real estate. Anywhere you go, real estate. So why is it so important? It's the true understanding of being established. So if that's the thing of you getting to be established, so real estate, you need to find out a way that you can get it by all means necessary. No matter what your credit is, you make your credit better if that's the way you want to go. But there's un other unconventional ways. Is that right, Samantha? Yeah, there are. There's um, an option where you can do owner financing. So sometimes when you go in to get a property, the owner of the property that you're buying can finance to you for maybe 12 months. Instead of you having to go get a loan, you make the payments to the owner of the property. Yeah, and they don't even check your credit. No problem about that. No. Nope. As long as you can, you can afford and you got the Lord, you can pay. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> because you're going to need prayer. <laughs> so you can most definitely be able to get involved in, and, and, and do some things and become established. And real estate gives you that opportunity because as I look from everybody that's around the country and people scream, oh, illegal immigration, illegal immigration. Well, a lot of these people are already established here. They have homes, they have property here, they own land, they work, they got their businesses. That's just being established. And when you're established like that, your roots are in the ground. That's why God wants you to be able to be established. That's your roots. That's where you come from. You know, and the thing about most of the people as far as, you know, the black community, that's what I'm part of. That's the only thing I have the right to talk about that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason that a lot of us can't get established is because of what? When we talk about community, we can't get established because of real estate. If I'm renting, I'm over there, I pretty much don't have a voice in the community. But if I am a homeowner, I have a lot of voice. 
So they said, voting. Yeah, that, voting is good because that is what? That's an alternative to have some a, a voice. But nobody can complain like the homeowner. Nobody can complain like that person. Because everybody will listen because he pays his taxes, plus he's in the community, and he's part of the community, or she's part of the community. So that's called being established. And the first thing people ask you, where you live at? And you'd be like, well, I, uh, uh, I ran over at John uh, 4th Street. And like, oh, okay. Well, I own a house on 52nd. And they, oh, oh, okay. Whole different, it even changes people's attitudes, right? Yeah. You know? You know, they say, well, I live over the, uh, I live four blocks down the street over the liquor store. <laughs> you, know? you know, okay, they're going to treat you like the liquor store. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to be talking about that today. I'm going to be talking about why is it so important. And then we're going to be de dissecting and saying, how can we get in? And I know there's a lot of listeners out there that want to get in. I want you to get in. That's why I've been working hard on this little investor package so I can get people into this thing so we can get busy and start buying some real estate. We're going to go ahead and we'll take a commercial break. After we come back, we'll get down to business. This is Dr. Hutch.